Hey people, welcome back to Savvy Wallet. I hope you're doing well. Financial debts. Nobody likes to talk about them. It's all dark, it's gloomy, it's depressing. But at the end of the day, we've got to deal with it. Anyone can get into debt. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't know how to manage your money well, you can get yourself into serious debt. And couple that with little savings, a job loss or anything unexpected happening that you can just literally get into debt. And that's what happened to me back in 2017. It was a tough summer that year. I owed HMRC student loan. I owed an accounting firm money because, of, because I was contracting before. I owed money on my credit card balance. I was using my overdraft and then I had various parking fines and other unexpected bills and this came to a grand total of four grand. Yes, your boy had to pay off four grand within three months, which was tough, it was really tough. So the first thing that I did was I assessed what my debts were, who my debts were from and when I needed to pay those debts back. That gave me a good understanding of what my debts were. You need to have a good understanding of what your debts are so that you know how much you need to pay. Because at the time I didn't know it was four grand. But when I started adding up all the numbers, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. How did I get myself into this situation? And it's so easy for anybody to get to this situation. Moving on to step two of how I eliminated my debts within three months. Well, the next thing I did, I decided what debts my savings were paid for, I decided what debts my income was paid for, and I literally done this on a spreadsheet. I literally noted down for each of my debts, this is when I'm gonna pay by then. So the first thing I paid off immediately was their accountancy fees, because I needed them to do some accounts for me, otherwise I was gonna risk getting a fight. So I literally put my only savings that I had at the time, one grand, and I literally paid that off. I paid a few other parking fines and things off at the same time and in a bit of my credit card balance, right? I had an income of about 2,300 that was getting paid, but my rent and bills came up to about a grand, so it only really meant that I had about 1,300. And in that 1,300, I needed to use that for food, I needed to use that for my social life as well. So I basically decided, okay, I'm gonna take out one grand of that money and then use that onto my debt. So every month, it was one grand, one grand, one grand. From June to July to August, it was one grand, one grand, one grand of my disposable income that I threw at this debt. Step three, I decided I had to live on a shoestring budget. If I was gonna only have 300 pounds left to spend on my food and my social life, I had to become wise on what I'll be spending in terms of food, in terms of my shopping. I had to basically home cook every day. Couldn't really afford to eat out. Even at lunch, I had to make my lunch for work at the time. And even when it came to social events, I had to say no to a lot of them. A lot of me not going out. I had to do it. That was my sacrifice. I had to decide to make a sacrifice, right? Whether that meant eating two meals instead of three meals, whether that meant not being able to see people on a weekend, whether that meant having to take the bus instead of driving, I made those sacrifices to make sure that I could get rid of, of that debt. And that was the only way I was able to get through this. And it was a very difficult time for me to do this over three months. And then moving on to step four of how I got rid of the debt, I had to do it. I had to take action in place. Yes, you can do all the planning in the world. Yes, you can say, oh, I've got this debt, I've got that debt, I'm gonna pay this with this. But then you have to live it, you have to do it. You have to go through with it, you have to live that, you have to go through that pain, and that's what I did. I went on the journey to getting myself debt free, and I did it. Step five, reassessing what my circumstances were every month. Every month, basically, I was going back to step one and reassessing what my current debts were. I had to keep on doing that so I can keep on top of it, so I can prevent myself from getting interest. At the time, what I was trying to do was I was trying to avoid myself getting interest. My credit card was, my credit card 0% rate was running out. My overdraft wasn't gonna be interest free anymore. Then I was gonna rack up a lot of charges, so I had to get myself out of that situation. That's what I did. And that was the only way I knew, okay, I'm getting closer. It kept me motivated. Obviously the first month was difficult, right? Because that's when you your savers are just going away like, oh my God, I worked so hard for this. And then it just goes straight away, it just melts away. But 
that's what I had to do and I did that and it worked out for me because I managed to get myself out of debt within those three months but it was tough it was really 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 hard right so that's the steps that I took to get me out of debt within those three months I hope you can use these steps to help you overcome your debts that you have there are other things that you can do so some of the advice that I've given to other people is getting yourself transferred onto another credit card with a lower interest rate or better yet a zero percent interest rate if that doesn't work for you and you can't find a credit card then you can also combine your loans into one and get yourself a loan with a lower interest rate or I don't know or even a zero percent interest rate if you're lucky and if you're really struggling with debt and it's persistent and it's very difficult then get in touch with a charity like step change who are free that will help you with your your debt and your debt management or you can get in touch with the debt device like they're willing to help as well and there are other charities just make sure that they are reputable you want a reputable charity that will be able to help so that's everything from me, people, about steps that I took to eliminate myself from debt within three months. Let me know what you thought within the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. We're very active on those two social media channels. And yeah, let, again, again, as always, it's a pleasure talking to you about your personal finance. We'll speak to you later.